first time in nearly 30 years, the Hokie Nation welcomes a new head football coach. Justin Fuente, who helped boost Memphis from a struggling football program to a winner, will secede Frank Beamer when he retires. WSLS 10 Sports Director John Pacello joins us now with more details in the studio. Abby? All right, Lindsay. The last time the Hokies hired a new head football coach, December 22nd, 1986. For context, Vinny Testaverde won the Heisman earlier that month. Thanks to the longtime stability of Coach Frank Beamer's program, it was by no means a routine day in Blacksburg. Former Memphis coach Justin Fuente will take control of the Hokies after the upcoming bowl game. Now, the 39-year-old new coach spent some time with the retiring legend in his office and was pretty clear his incoming job at Virginia Tech is much different than his previous one at Memphis, thanks to Frank. We all know you don't uh, replace a legend in coaching. You hope to build uh, on what, what he's already done. You hope to continue to operate in the same manner with the same principles and the same integrity. The kids are what are really important this whole deal. You know, what happens to them and what, and I think they uh, got a guy that really is interested in kids. And I was so happy to see that. I was very impressed with him from the beginning. I, uh, I think he, what you see is what he is. Uh, you know, I've always thought I was a pretty good judge of people, and uh, I was impressed with him. Fuente will be concentrating on the upcoming recruiting period, then completing his staff. We met two assistant coaches today, one a wide receivers coach, the other his special teams coach. We'll hear from both coming up in sports. And then there's his defensive coordinator. Alyssa Ray joins us with more. Yeah, Abby, well, Bud Foster's name's been thrown in the mix for a few head coaching positions, namely the Illinois position. And when Fuente offered him the job to stay as defensive coordinator at Virginia Tech, of course, he took it. Now, he's recognized as being one of the best defensive coordinators in college football. He's been by Beamer's side during all of Virginia Tech's success. In the past eight years, Coach Foster's defense finished in the top ten three of those years, finishing as high as fourth in the country in 2013. With Fuente's offensive background and Foster's defensive mind, this could be a perfect fit. It's going to be a lot of fun to compete in this spring, but it's going to get be more. It's going to be more fun to get to know each other, uh, even more so, uh, to know exactly how he wants things done. One of the beautiful draws about this this uh, opportunity was, I believe, that hopefully it potentially came with the best defensive coordinator in all of America. And uh, I'm awfully happy that he's agreed to stay on uh, with us and, and help us continue what Coach Beamer started. Current coaches will stay in their offices until after the bowl game. The new coaches will set up shop in the press box until then. Live in the newsroom, Melissa Ray, WSLS 10 Sports. All right, the press box is not a bad gig. Okay. It's nice. nice up there. Right. It is plush and it's wired, and that's really the most important thing right. so they can communicate quickly. Right. So then in the days to come, we'll learn about all the other assistants, right? Yeah, we're looking at at least six people that have to be decided on it, and they're in no hurry, to be yeah. quite honest. They have this whole month, so that's kind of nice. It's that's nice, a nice to see question. Coach Beamer there. He's so classy. Yeah, mm -hmm. He is the man. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. Right. Yep. Thank, Thank you, Abby. Abby.